10th August was the date that you know we landed 2014 was the year we landed back in Pakistan and within the next few days I you know being the fitness junkie if you know you want to call it that but that I was I I signed up to a gym I started going um and I was also looking for jobs I was very passionate about working in the education sector and I was aggressively applying and you know looking for different things to do um but at the same time the whole fitness routine that I was very religiously continuing in London usme bahut ek break aa gaya tha so i tried to find the right thing what what i can do gym wasn't working out i remember vividly ke hum uh, i was getting a haircut with a friend of mine and you know i had just called her because we were catching up over this haircut and she was asking me what are you doing these days and i remember complaining to her ke yaar ye jo meri fitness routine and i'm looking for jobs but meri jo fitness routine hai usme i just can't find the right thing to do i remember raving about the class and dance fit and all of that Um, और पता नहीं कहाँ से रैंडमली मुझे ख्याल आया कि एक उसी पिछली गली में जहाँ पे मैं हेयर कट करा रही थी वहाँ पे एक स्टूडियो होता था जहाँ पे आई आई डिड अ फ्यू योगा क्लासेस सो आई थॉट कि चाहे चलो योगा है बट यू नो लेट्स सी इफ दोज क्लासेज आर स्टिल हैपनिंग एंड मे बी आई कैन जॉइन दोज सो यू नो वी ड्रोव अप आफ्टर माई हेयर कट माई फ्रेंड वो स्टिल विद मी प्रॉब्ली अनॉयड बाई माई कैरिंग हर विद मी बट वी ड्रोव अप स्मोक टू द गार्ड एंड ही टोल मी कि जी ऊपर स्टूडियो है बिल्कुल है लेकिन वहाँ पर एक हफ्ते में एक क्लास होती है योगा की और वो इस इस टाइम पर होती है एंड इट जस्ट समहा कर टू मी कि अगर ये स्टूडियो है और खाली है तो यू नो कौन यूज करता है कैन आई यूज इट टू मे बी डू अ डांस क्लास राइट इन दैट मोमेंट वेरी रैंडमली एंड आई स्पोक टू द गार्ड गॉट द ओनर्स नंबर uh you know came back home called him he was a very nice guy he immediately was on board uh he said that absolutely you can use the space up dance class karao you know we can do a whatever financial share um and yeah i remember just actually inviting my friends on 1st of september so preparing some choreographies because a really big passion for me was to bring desi music right to use our tunes that people relate to people can sing along you know um and and that i didn't get in london so i immediately i had this chance to explore and like you know find music that's our own wapas aane ke baad malika had started her classes and because they were dance classes i just had to be there um even though at that time i wasn't a huge fitness fanatic but uh, because i started going to these classes regularly i saw the change that it was having on me so infrastructure bahut strong nahi tha us jagah ka but uh you know it worked because i feel like that magic of group fitness or that magic of women in pakistan having a space finally that was meant for them was you know mind blowing like people would say oh wow there's nothing of this nature in pakistan this is 2014 lekin us waqt tak bhi i had a day job i didn't really think of doing this as a career phir koi do teen mahine ke baad malaga had to travel out of the country and the class couldn't stop because it was a full class um i knew all the choreographies i knew all the clients i knew the way things worked so i just took over and started teaching with her and that's when i realized that this is an experience that i don't ever want to let go of in my life it has to be a big part of whatever i do ye jo time tha na shuru ka jab hamara abhi apna studio nahi tha ek rented studio tha bada interesting time tha um hum dono का अपना करियर भी चल रहा था लेकिन ये एक पैशन था जिसकी यू नो फॉर विच वी हैड वी वर जस्ट विलिंग टू मूव हेवन एंड अर्थ टू जस्ट मेक इट हैपन सो आई रिमेंबर एक दिन क्या हुआ कि बिल्कुल लाइट नहीं आ रही थी और घोप अंधेरा था पंखे नहीं चल रहे थे गर्मी थी फॉर सम रीजन एक फेज आ रहा था जिसके ऊपर म्यूजिक सिस्टम लगा हुआ था तो म्यूजिक चल रहा था एंड वी हैड अ टीम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्टर्स वी वर फोर फाइव पीपल इन दैट क्लास and we just decided ke as long as music on ho raha hai ye class chal rahi hai ye class this class is going to happen and we asked everybody to turn the the torches on their phones on put it on their mat and the entire workout was done in dark without fans with just the music running and that was the first time where i think this the the foundation for the aim fit value that we are going to ensure that our clients have the best possible experience no matter what the circumstance was truly set but then eventually i think we got to a point where we said okay we want to curate a complete experience for our class 
and that's when we decided that we want to launch our first studio. Um, so our first studio was launched in uh, 2015, 10 months after we after Malika started her first class. I remember that Malika and I sat down and we one day had this conversation that you know this is something that is having such a huge impact on these women who come to our classes. Um, and because our day job si, we couldn't take it forward. So we, it was the time was right for us to make a full-time commitment. Um, and it was scary at that time as well. But I remember we both sat down, we made a partnership deed, we shook hands. Um, you know, we said, let's do this. We're both fully committed. Uh, we gave up our day jobs. And uh, you know, the, the aim, the mission really was to make something big out of this. We knew that it was working. We just wanted to make sure that every single woman in Pakistan can feel this impact that our classes were already creating.